Hey, Jason. Hey. Uh, Instro. Yeah, we met it this time. Uh, and uh, you've got some new stuff to show us, right? Yeah, two new modules launching today and should actually be in stores today uh, or on various career buses, whatever. Uh, yeah, so first one is the Larach. So this is like a you know, Swiss Army knife utility input module. Uh, there's a stereo line to modular input, so you can plug anything from consumer or pro gear stereo 3.5 millimeter signals coming in. They'll step up to modular level. Uh, it's around about like plus 40 dB of gain or something on the on the input. Uh, this little hexagon might be familiar from the Arbor. So this is the uh, exact same condenser microphone capsule implementation that's that's on the Arbor. So this way you can get that straight into you know, a general patch as opposed to just the granular implementation. Um, yeah, so we've got line to modular microphone. We have an enhancement channel. So this is like an audio preamp that is based on the same input that's on the Arbor looper. So it's kind of a bit of tangential distortion, soft limiting, and a bit of you know, subtle wave shaping. So it's uh, it's good for like running really heavy hitting aggressive signals through, and it just sort of like caps the amplitude a bit more, uh, reins it in. Then got an envelope follower, variable attack release, variable you know shaping from linear to exponential gate threshold on top of that and then finally at the bottom a uh, quarter inch input which it ships with these guys so nicer soft touch buttons I went through a few tests and found these which are a nicer you know, hand press option than like classic your know, clicky uh, stomp box pedals uh, so yeah you've got foot control uh, the left button here you've got a direct gate output and a variable duration trigger <laughs> and the lower one, the B button, uh, it's just a, a direct gate output, but it XORs with this latching toggle, so you can invert it so it's active low on a push or active high on a push. So basically many ways to get direct interfacing with, with a patch, so either hands-on, foot control, and external audio input. So like, uh, you know, if we're using the microphone as an audio source, for instance, then fast attack, long release, here we go. We've got envelope following direct from ambient audio control. Uh, so I guess a quick way to demo things, I've got a few patches that show a lot of things working in tandem. Uh, I'm going to use the, the A button here. I'll bring down the, uh, a really short trigger duration and I'm going to patch that into my follower input, which that's now breaking the normal from the microphone source or the, a mono sum of the line to modular source. So you can kind of cascade things without patching. Uh, but this way I'm patching from the bottom up. So now when I hit the button, uh, I've created a quick decay envelope. I'll keep that exponential. Uh, I'll pull the gate threshold up. So I'm basically following the trigger here and I'll use that to ping a, ping a filter. Try this direct first so I can get the, the ballpark fundamental. Is that for a level? There we are, a bit more 808 type resonant tone. And then let's pull the positive envelope out and hit the FM with that. That's just the filter direct. Let's hear what these other throughput channels sound like. So I'm going to run into the enhance input, come out. So it, it limits to it's maybe just a bit below like nine volts peak to peak. We I model it directly on what the Arbor Looper's architecture was for that. So it can be a bit lower in amplitude, but it keeps everything really nicely reined in. Hear that with a bit of a bit more sustain on the tone. You get a bit more 
more like amplitude limiting, so it's a nice way to like run, especially with, like drum voices or anything that's really uh, like a lot of um, sharp transients. It's, it's gonna it's gonna enhance that quite nicely. Uh, and then a trick using the linked modular: if you patch just a mono signal in, I told myself not to do that earlier. So yeah, be careful with with microphones, which is uh, <laughs> rule number one. Um, so I'm actually running my direct uh, resonant kick tone through the line to modular, the pot all the way down. So this is now just uh, normaling down from a mono sum at the left output to the enhanced input via that switch. Pot all the way down is essentially unity gain for a modular signal. And then if I bring this down a bit, bring this up. That's more like it. So, yeah, so that's adding 40 dB of gain to any modular signal. That you go but then limiting it with the enhancer. Exactly. Yeah, Amazing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. nice distortion. Kind of. So yeah, so that's kind of a, a very specific using all the various facets of the of the Laric with a, a kick voice. But um, yeah, what I've been doing a lot is I, I played a set recently where I. I tracked a bunch of drum loops uh, in in my new studio. That's what I did the last two years. I built a recording studio. Brilliant. Uh, so yeah, I had those running from the looper and uh, a combination from the looper and from external sources, so I could like sample stuff in and just just playing with acoustic drum loops is uh, really fun. Like coming in using the envelope follower, so pulling out gates from that. Uh, I, I, I do a lot of these examples in the new Laric overview video that uh, went up live on, on the Intro YouTube channel uh, today. So that's kind of a few examples of using external audio signals for transient detection to control clocking, to control envelope shaping. Yeah, it's a, it's a versatile module. Like I think uh, it's been such a mad rush just building the things that I'm now starting to get a chance to patch with it and find all these like, you know, mad ways to use it. So. So um, is uh, is it kind of, do you have a roadmap for when it's going to be available and right do you now, have a price? Yeah, so we got the first batch built and shipped out last week, where are we at now? I've lost track of time. Yeah, like a, a, bit, a bit a week before we, we left for Superbooth, so the, if they're not in stores already, they'll be there very soon. Um, and Excellent, and yeah. uh, what was the price kind of point uh, on that? Uh, £319, uh, all in, and that comes with the... Uh, quarter inch cable, the foot controller, uh, and the module, of course. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, and did you say you have what, another module? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Cure, which is this guy here, little 4 HP balanced output module. So separate level for the main balance signal, which uh, again it, it ships with the, the same quarter inch cables. So you've got uh, TRS quarter inch cables uh, out of the box. Uh, so that's left and right line level, dedicated headphone level, a headphone output with its own level. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I managed to beat the component shortage and get just enough of the the, the, the fancy like uh, buffer ICs that I needed for this. So it's. Uh, yeah, the spec is, is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Brilliant. And uh, is that kind of available now as well? Yeah, exact same as the Laric. So it's uh, it's retailing at uh, two three nine pounds. Uh, yeah, and same same as Laric, it should be in stores now, if not imminently. Brilliant. Well, Jason, thank you very much. Thank you. See you thank soon. You.